Franklin's earlier state is certainly here. <clears throat> also around the water holes, you get animals that are dominant. So you quite often find that your biggest, strongest animals, let's say we're talking about birds at the moment, this hornbill, animals that do have some home range activity or, or territorial activity. Obviously the closer you get to water, the more likely there's more food for you and so on. So you often get the sort of biggest, healthiest animals that spend a lot of their time in the general vicinity of little sort of nature hotspots if you want, water being obviously a major one. Now Alex should have a little daker walking through the back behind that hornbill. Just keep watching. Somewhere back there. Look at that. That's what often happens, you stop and you just uh, take a little bit of time, look around, and then things happen around you. And that's one of the other magic things. Obviously driving around and moving around, it's fantastic being able to give you more chance of finding things. like those random little things that happen. Like this little grey daker having a look at us as well. I think maybe he's thinking the sky is particularly blue this morning. Looking back at Alex. Same one that we stopped for right at the sort of as we arrived here at the dam. It's one of the places people stop sometimes for sundown is on the side of the water. Coffee in the morning quite often. I'm sure these hornbills have learned over time that inevitably there's little bits of food that fall off the table. Right there next to us. Now this shows you how what situation works like. This bird sits here often enough, sees vehicles often enough, and suddenly before you know it, Stop really close to it. Now even cleaning its beak right here next to us. <laughs> Zazu. Awesome.